Hello everyone, welcome to my world. I am super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be unboxing the September BoxyCharm subscription. So if you're interested in knowing what I received in this box, just keep on watching. Now, before I get into the unboxing, I just wanna quickly mention that I'm not currently subscribed to BoxyCharm, nor have I ever been. I actually won the September box in a giveaway that another YouTuber was having on her channel, but if she's interested, I will get her permission. And if you'd like, I will share her channel details in the description box below. So definitely go check that out as well. Yeah, anyways, let's get on to the unboxing. All right, so I have the box right here, and this is what it looks like when you receive it in the mail. The subscription is worth $25 a month, and you can receive up to $180 worth of products inside the box. So I definitely will be tallying that up for you and let you know how much the value of this particular box is. But yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. There you go. So that is what it looks like inside. So we do have a couple of items. Looks like the card was supposed to be on top, but it fell over. Um, it just says BoxyCharm. And on the back, it looks like it lists all the items and their values. I don't really want to look at this because I want to be surprised, but we will go over that a little bit later. So the first product that I see is this big box right here. So this is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Retreatment. So it's just a mud mask, I guess and it's completely sealed, so let me open that up. All right, so I've just removed the plastic wrap and let's open the box. Oh, it looks, it looks a lot smaller than I was expecting it to, but it feels really nice and heavy and the packaging is really cute. And the instructions are apply a thin, even layer to clean dry skin, leave on for up to 10 minutes, product will tingle, which means it's working, and then remove with water in circular motions to exfoliate. Perfect, okay, so pretty basic. Let's see what it looks like inside. There we go, and that's what it looks like inside so i am just going to put my hair aside and put the mask on i guess i'll go ahead and do that now unfortunately i don't have one of those applicators that people use to apply masks to their face so i'm gonna have to use my fingers so i'm just gonna go wash my hands once again and then go ahead and apply the mask to my face now something that i quickly want to mention that i instantly noticed it has a very strong scent to it like fragrance it doesn't smell like green tea or anything like that it just smells like a perfume. It smells very similar to something I've used before and I can't exactly put my hand on it. And I hope it's not added in fragrance. I know some people are very sensitive to that if you have sensitive skin. I'm really curious to know what it is, but I have no idea. All right, so I put it on all over my face and it's only been like two minutes and I can already feel it tingling. It's kind of burning my skin already. So I actually don't know how I'm gonna last 10 minutes, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to wait 10 minutes and I will be right back. So it's been 10 minutes and the mask is completely dry and it feels really, really nice and tight. I think I was being a little bit dramatic in the beginning about the burning sensation. It was pretty intense, but after a couple minutes, that feeling went away, I guess, as the mask started to dry and my skin was getting accustomed to it. So it wasn't burning for the entire 10 minutes. But yeah, what I'm going to do next is just go into the bathroom, wash it off and let you know what I think. All right guys, so I am back from washing the mask off my face and my skin feels super soft right now. As I was washing the mask off, I could feel it exfoliating my skin and as soon as I could feel my skin, my goodness, I was shook because it felt so nice. Now that I've washed uh, the mask off, it does say to put on cream or moisturizer after. So I'm just gonna use a bit of my CeraVe moisturizing cream. All right, so let's see what else we have inside here. I actually see a primer, so might as well grab that. This is the Georgette Clinger Marula Primer, and the directions are after cleansing and toning your skin, use clean, dry fingers to apply a light layer of primer to clean skin. Tip for best results, use a gentle patting motion to help primer fill in areas with large pores or fine lines. So this product sounds amazing so far. This is definitely something that I need for sure. I have very, very large pores if you see my videos it's something that i mentioned in like every other video and um i'm also noticing you know as i get older i'm definitely getting those you know smile lines are kind of sinking in and not going away when i stop smiling so definitely excited for this so i'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and pat it into my pores here
for sure in some spots it is definitely giving that blurred effect to my pores so i don't think that there's anything else in the box for my base so i'm gonna go ahead and put some foundation and concealer on off camera and then be right back all right guys so i'm back so let's see what else i have in this box so next up we have it looks like it's a lipstick so this is by the brand real her and i think the color is called never give up but let's see what it looks like hopefully the color is right usually you know as someone with a darker skin tone it can be very difficult to find lipsticks that match my skin tone and complement me so hopefully this works out it's really pretty packaging it looks kind of like a rose gold really beautiful and oh i am wearing um something on my lips right now but i will remove it to test this out out. I'm struggling to open it though. Oh, oh, perfect. Ooh, it looks pretty. Looks like color doesn't look the same on the screen. I don't know if it'll focus. No, it's not focusing, but it's kind of like a brownish chestnut shade. Let me remove what I have on my lips. Actually, I'll put this on later on. Let's let's leave this for a little bit later. So let me set that aside for now. Okay, so this looks like we have a brow gel. I've never actually used a brow gel before. So that is really exciting. I don't know if it'll be colored or not. So this is by Saint Lux. And this is what it looks like. Really cute black packaging. Okay, and it looks like it's clear. So I do already have my brows done. So let me just, um, because I, okay, I can feel the wetness. It almost felt like there was nothing on there. I guess the good thing about this product is that you can't really see it on your brows. So that's good. Anyways, that is really cool. So the next thing is this little case right here it is by Elena Badro and it does have something in it. So I'm assuming it's probably makeup brushes. So this packaging feels really nice and soft. And yeah, so we have makeup brushes. So it looks like there are three makeup brushes inside. And it looks like first up we have an angled contour brush. It's a really pretty blue handle here. And this feels nice and soft. It is of course synthetic. And I do have one of these already. So I have, see this one in black, looks pretty much the same thing. If you've seen my everyday makeup collection slash routine, you know that I pretty much just have one full set of makeup brushes that I use. So it is really nice to have a couple more added to the collection. And there is one little, can you guys see that little, if I can, that little piece sticking out. So, oh well. Oh, that piece just came right off. So I don't know, we'll see what the quality is like, but it does feel nice and soft. So the next one we have just looks like a standard kind of blending brush. Um, I only have one of these, so it is really nice to have a few of these to blend out your eyeshadow, blend it all together. And then last but not least, looks like it's an angled, probably a lining brush, so you can use this for eyeliner. This one is, actually it's nice that this one is a little bit thinner than the one I currently have. So that will definitely come in handy. So I think there's just one last item and it's quite big and it looks like an eyeshadow palette, which is awesome. So this one is by OPV Beauty. This is the Spotlight eyeshadow palette. I personally have never heard of them. And let's see what it looks like inside. Oh wow, that is beautiful. That is amazing. That is so many shades and it comes with a mirror as well. That is stunning. So um, what I'm gonna maybe do is do a quick look with these colors, nothing too complicated because now I have something to use in upcoming videos. So this is incredible. I'm super, super excited. Let me zoom you guys in real quick and do a quick a makeup look with this palette.
brought in a little bit too much in here, but oh well. I think I can cover that up, we'll see. It would look a lot better if I was able to take my time, but oh well. And let's remove this. Super satisfying doing this. And then just for under my eyes, I'm just gonna go in with edge. And a little bit of deep plug as well. skip on lining my eyes. I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. So that is pretty much it for the eyes and so far I am loving this eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to play around with it a little bit more so I can do some more looks for you. So yeah, super excited about that. And then of course, last but not least, whilst I have you guys up close, I will test out the lipstick as well. And I'm not going to use the lip liner, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this directly. Definitely is very, very sheer. Like the bullet itself looks like it has a lot of color. It is a very, very light shade and definitely feels very soft and moisturizing like it mentioned. But yeah, I actually kind of really like it. This is really great for an everyday lip for me because it looks like my natural lips but better. So I actually really like it. But yeah, anyways, let me now zoom out and just quickly discuss the prices of all the products and let you know what the total cost of the box would be if you bought each product individually. Hey guys, so I do want to apologize about the lighting situation right now. Unfortunately, my camera battery died as usual. And whilst I was waiting for it to charge, of course, the sun set. So here we are. But anyways, I want to wrap up this video by quickly talking about the retail prices of all the products that I received in the September BoxyCharm. So first, let's start off with the Glam Glow Mask. So this is the Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask. And it says that its retail price is $60, which is crazy for this little bottle. I was doing a quick search online and seems like it has nothing but good reviews. So far, I did enjoy it as well. So that is a great steal. Then next up, it's the Elena Bedreau Baby Blues set. So it's this little case with the three makeup brushes. And it says that its retail estimated price would be $58. To be quite honest, these brushes aren't bad but at the same time i can't imagine paying 58 dollars they feel again very similar i lost my brush oh it's right here so it feels very similar to my vanity planet brush this comes in a set of 15 makeup brushes for like 15 dollars on amazon so I don't know. I'm happy I receive them, happy to add them to my collection because they do work. But at the same time, I don't know, that price is interesting <laughs> to be honest. Moving on. The next thing is the Georgette Klinger Marula Primer. So that was this one here. That retails for $32. I think that's pretty reasonable for a primer. It definitely did blur my pores. I'm gonna continue to use this. So I'm very happy with that. Then as for the St. Lux Beauty Brow Gel, that was this one here, this little thing here, that retails for $22. I also liked that product as well. Last but not least uh, that they listed here is the Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick. That is this one right here. And apparently that's retail price is $18, which I think is normal, I guess, for a lipstick. So not too bad. And I actually really like this product. It feels really great in my skin. I am happy with that and I'm excited to use it. The one thing I noticed is the last thing I received, the OVP Beauty Spotlight eyeshadow palette was not mentioned in this list. So I did look into it further online and it looks like this was a special gifted item. I couldn't figure out the exact reason for why it was gifted. I think it was like a promotional item, something like that. So that's why it wasn't listed here. So that was a really cool bonus to find out about. And apparently this retails for $41. That is an amazing uh, price as well. It's amazing to receive that. And I did add up all the items. I have it 
somewhere here on my phone. Okay, so it looks like all the items listed here. So that's everything, but excluding the OPV palette, total $190. So that is a great value for a $25 monthly subscription. And then when you add this promotional gifted item, which is $41, it comes to a total of $231 value, which is really incredible. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the subscription box is you don't know what you're receiving. So some months you're gonna receive great products that you know and love. And then I'm sure you're gonna get a mix in there of products that maybe you don't really need or don't really reach for. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. Again, this was gifted to me. I wanted in a giveaway. So I am really grateful for winning and I love all the products. I'm definitely gonna use them. But anyways, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really sorry about the lighting situation throughout the entire video. It's kind of a mess, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you leave it a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And if you wanna see more from me, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications that way I can catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.